plagiarism plagiarism is the act of using the ideas or words of others in your writing without giving due credit to the authors of the text in very simple words plagiarism means cheating it's a research misconduct and why is that because you're using somebody else's writing you're using somebody else's work and passing it off as your own now most of the times we don't want to commit plagiarism it happens unintentionally firstly because we don't know what constitutes plagiarism and secondly we don't know how to avoid plagiarism and thirdly what are the different plagiarism checkers out there so in this video let me clear everything about plagiarism Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Wise Up Communications and in this video I'm going to clear all your doubts about plagiarism. First we're going to understand what constitutes plagiarism with the help of a very fun activity. After that I'm going to tell you what are the three different ways how you can avoid plagiarism and then towards the end I'll talk about some of the best plagiarism checkers out there, both paid and free ones. So, do watch this video till the very end. And now let's get started. Now to understand what constitutes plagiarism, we're going to do a very fun activity. I'm going to give you three different situations and you need to tell me whether that is plagiarism or not plagiarism. And in the end, you also need to tell me your scores in the comments below. All right, so let's get started. First one, incorporating a paragraph from another article but changing the keywords with synonyms. Is this plagiarism or not plagiarism? Well, the right answer is, it is plagiarism. Just changing the keywords with synonyms is not enough. There are two things that are missing here that you need to do in order to avoid plagiarism. And we will talk about it very soon. Next one, cutting and pasting information from the internet with due acknowledgement. Basically, taking information exactly word by word from any published article, but citing the source. So is this plagiarism or not plagiarism? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but this is also plagiarism. There's something very important which is missing here that is making this statement plagiarized. Last and the final one, taking information from another article, completely writing it in our own words, and then on top of that, also citing the source. Is this plagiarism or not plagiarism? Yes, you got this right. This is not plagiarism. In fact, this is the right way to include information in your text. So tell me, how much did you guys score? How many of you got three out of three? How many got two? How many got one? And how many got zero? I think people who got zero are the biggest learners here. So please tell me in the comments below. And now that we're done with this very fun exercise, let's talk about how to avoid plagiarism. Basically, what is the right way to include information? First is quoting. Say for example, you want to take some information from another article, word by word, and put it into your own paper. Basically, cutting and pasting information. Yes, you're allowed to do that as well. But there are two things here that you need to take care of. First, you need to put that entire information under quotation marks. This shows that the information has been represented exactly how it has been represented in the source text. And secondly, you need to cite the source. When you do these two things together, it's absolutely right and you are not committing any plagiarism. The second way to avoid plagiarism is through paraphrasing. Say for example, you don't want to use quotation marks in your paper. Or say you just want to use the idea from another paper, but not exactly their same words. In that case, you go for paraphrasing. In paraphrasing, you write that entire information in your own words. Just changing the keywords with synonyms is not enough. You need to change the entire sentence construction and rephrase it in your own words. Along with that, you also need to cite the source. When you do these two things together, it's called paraphrasing and it's one of the most popular ways to avoid plagiarism. The third way to avoid plagiarism is summarizing. Now this is similar to paraphrasing only. The difference here is that we are doing it in lesser number of words than the source text. I'll explain. 
for example there is information given in four to five research papers and you want to combine the information and represent it only in one paragraph in your own paper or say for example in the source article the information is given in two three paragraphs but you want to summarize that information and write it probably in two to three lines only in your own paper basically you're trying to get a gist of what other people have written so that is called as summarizing here also you are writing everything in your own words and secondly you are also citing all the relevant sources so in other words summarizing is paraphrasing but in lesser number of words than the source text that's about it so guys these are the three different ways how you can avoid plagiarism and now let's talk about the plagiarism correction softwares now there are many plagiarism correction softwares out there but the most popular ones and the most reputed ones are Turnitin and Authenticate but the only catch here is that they are paid softwares so if your institute offers them then I would say don't think about anything else and just go and use these otherwise a great tool that I've discovered recently which is free of cost and does a good job in plagiarism detection is Plage.ai so for initial checks, you can easily use the software. Otherwise, just by paying a nominal fee of less than $10, you can get more number of words checked and you can also get deeper checks with much larger databases. So overall, I think it's a very good deal. So personally, these three would be my recommendations for plagiarism checkers. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you have any questions related to plagiarism, you can put them down in the comments below and I will clear them for you. Also, if you wish to learn more about research paper writing, then you can join me for my research writing course. Here we teach you how to write a research paper from scratch and get yourselves published. To know more, the link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And now, thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.